What's up guys, it's your boy Ravenclaw here, back with another episode of Tutorial Time. Now I've been asked a lot about how do I do, you know, my animations, how do I get the WoW models now that, um, you know, WoW Model Viewer has been, well, it hasn't been updated yet for the new expansion. Uh, so today I thought I'll take a step back and start showing you guys how to maybe delve into a new world that you thought, hey. I've always thought, how do they make game models and games and all that stuff and give it a try. This is the series for you. I'm going to go from, this episode is just going to be how to get the WoW models, but don't worry, I'm going to go back and I'm going to teach you how to use the the 3ds Max application or there'll be other applications which will be in another sort of, you know, series line. But this one's going to be all about 3ds Max, how to get the models from, you know, the folders into the 3d world to be able to animate them create them and all that stuff so so what we'll do is i'll first show you well the reason why we can't de get uh, wow models for from wow model viewer anymore is because the animations and everything have been updated and wow model viewer can't recognize the new files or well, at least that's my understanding from when I've tried to alter the, you know, I've tried to fix it myself, but it just, it just isn't working. So I had to come up or I had to find a new way to do it. And this is the way that I've found. Sorry about my, jeez, jeez, every time, stop it, phone. Okay, so first thing you guys are going to want to do is you're going to want to go to this website right here, 3ds Max from Autodesk. Okay, you need to sign in, you need to have an account, and then you need to go and do your bits and pieces and then download the application. Okay, I use a lot of products from Autodesk. Autodesk has been a massive help for me in my modeling and things like that. We'll get through all of their products. You know, some things you have to pay for, some things are free, but yeah, if you want, if you're really truly interested in 3D modeling, you know, digital design, all that stuff. If you want to become a games creator, I would suggest, you know, putting some money aside and getting into this world. It's absolutely awesome, so much fun, and hey, that's just the world's going these days. Anyway, so you want to go to this website, then you want to do, uh, you get your bits and pieces and download the application, run it, and then you'll have this. I will go through, I think I'll do a, a separate section on how to you know, manage all, this is a ton of toolbars. And when you first get into this, it's very daunting. What the hell is all this crap and how do I use it? And we will, we will go over that. So never fear, Ravenclaw is here. Wow. <laughs> so lame. Anyway, all right. So let's just go back up here. All right. So once you've done that, you then, how do you get the models? Well, you want to go to this website here. All links will be in the description, so don't worry about copying anything from here. It's all down below. You just go and click and have fun. All right, so what this program does, it takes M2 files and WMO files, which are world model files and M2 uh, model files, then converts them into an OBJ file, which is just simply an object file. Um, once you get the object file, so think of it this way, guys, that are a bit confused as to what I'm saying. An object file, um let's let's go back into 3ds max lich king okay he is classed as a model now an object file is simply containing the model which is essentially an object now when you get him now i've made him move so i've done all the animations and stuff so don't worry about that i'll teach you how to do that but this is what you're after now you can get buildings which I'll show you how to do a cool little, you know, make your own type piece of WoW and stuff like that. Now, you must remember that all of these models, everything of this belong to Blizzard. They're all owned by Blizzard. I haven't created any of their stuff. I've simply just taken them from there and animated myself for videos, but all credit goes to the rightful owners. Um, so yeah, so once you've, um, let's go back to that website. Uh, yep, so once you've, downloaded the um, 
you may have to get .NET Framework, which is simple, which is easy. You just download it. It's just so that the program can run. It's sort of like the um, so your computer can understand the 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 program. So once you do that, go ahead and download it. It's a simple thing. You download it, comes up, blah blah blah. I've already downloaded it, so very simple. So once you have downloaded it, you will then go to this. Okay, so it opens up and you want to just simply run the OBJ Exporter UI. It'll load up everything. Da, 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 da. And what you're looking for to start with is you're looking for a character that you want to import into WoW. Okay, so we just wait for it to do its thing. I think initially, um, I can't remember offhand, but I think initially when you go to save the first time, I think it asks for a file path. So just save it somewhere that you want to be able to find it later on. But I've got it going into my main file somewhere. But anyway, so what we want to look for, let's just say you wanted to get Illidan. Right, you type it in up here, right? Then you, now any NPC in the game is known as a creature. Okay, so if you look here, then you go into, now the Abyssal Illidan is his, is his dark form. And the good thing about this, it actually brings along what's known as the textures or materials or just the, the look. So all the painting for those people that aren't familiar with what textures and materials are. All right, which is awesome. Okay, so then once it's done, a good thing about, I use a lot of other 3D art things like um, Cinema 4D and all that stuff. One thing I love about uh, 3ds max is when you drag an obj file in there you get a pop-up asking you how, <clears throat> simply how do, what, what do you want me to do with this do you want to load in all the textures with it and all that stuff so it brings all that information straight in that way you don't have to go, have to go in and put all the materials and textures on the model yourself um, we will get into all that later so you just simply select which one, whichever one you want now down here this preview model at the moment doesn't work for m2 files but it does work for WMO files. Once again, is world model. So let's go ahead and type in uh, Stormwind. And let's see if we can find ourselves just a little something I can just show you what it looks like. Uh, Stormwind Keep, right? So we go preview model. And then we need to look, there we go. So it gives you a quick look at what you're going to be downloading. So if you wanted to, re -down if you wanted to recreate Stormwind, you can, um, get all the different models and yeah. I will show you, now one thing that I found that this um, struggles with is the ADT files, which is simply the uh, the terrain, the, the ground and all that stuff. I've tried to download ADT files from this, it doesn't seem to work, but I have another way to do that. So we're starting off with models today and then we'll go into other things later. All right, so once you've done that, you can simply then go and uh, where are we? So we go here, we go find some models. You can see that I've gotten a whole bunch of stuff. It'll download all the textures and everything with it, which is awesome. So if we go into creature, then if we go, let's, uh, oh yeah, let's someone show you something. I got Sylvanas. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm an idiot. All right. So you can do a few things. You can simply grab the OBJ file, not the .mtl. That's just other information about any like sort of animations and stuff but you simply click and drag like this and we seem to be inside of Illidan's shoe I believe but that's okay I'll fix this up right now <laughs> look how small she is that's all to do with um scaling now I think I've um I think I've made him really large but anyway so up here Right, I'll give you a quick overview of things. This is how to manage things in 3D space. So you have rotation, undo that. Then you have your enlarge. So if you grab in the middle, you go whoop. Now she's a better size. Whoa. Okay. Now she's on par with um, Lich King. How cool does she look? God, she looks so cool. Um, and that's the three main ones that you need to know, really. Now to, oh, whoops. Now to move around up here, my mouse is a bit stuffed at the moment, so normally you can do it just with your mouse. But if you just grab this box, you can rotate. Um, you zoom in and out. Okay, now if you get lost in the 3D space and you go like all the way over here, 
simply grab click on the model over here and just press Z or not no 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 <laughs> so sorry press Z there we go and it zooms back in or alternatively if you go up here it'll take you back to zero zero in 3d space I just wanted to show you that because trust me when I first started out it was annoying I keep getting lost now if for example you're doing something and you you try and zoom in or you try and rotate and you get taken off into the middle of nowhere come up here you'll be stuck in orthographic mode make sure you go to perspective it's much easier and take sh realistic down to shade it so it's easier to maneuver now I will say that you probably need a little bit of a beefy computer nothing too crazy but enough to handle rendering especially if you do animations like you can see how the Lich King moves and that in order to get this out you need to render it and what it does it simply saves frames like uh, images of each frame like one two three four five in a sequence now we'll we'll talk about rendering and all that later but just be mindful that rendering can take a lot of CPU time um, essentially all CPU time depending on how many cameras lighting information all that stuff you have so just be very mindful the last thing I want you guys to do is you know download all this be all excited and then when it comes to rendering your computer can't handle it I just want you guys to know that now there are ways you can sort of prioritize um, this to give it more power but just just have that in the back of your mind all right but that's that's essentially how to do it like you, you you just need um, like I said OBJ exporter 3ds max or you can there's other ones out there like I think Maya blender um, you know cinema 4d cinema 4d does cost a fair bit okay now I've got the studio edition um, it does cost a, a, a fair bit of money so keep that in mind um, uh, although in saying this guys if you are a student and you are at university or you know you're studying something along in the digital world you can actually apply for a student license right and as you can see I've got the student version up here um, now I have I got this version th through uh, college I'm actually at college at the moment so I'm lucky enough to have access to 3ds max um, and all of its other bits and pieces from Autodesk so I'm actually quite excited to have access to it anyway but once this obviously once this license runs out I will be then going to buy the commercial license so that I can develop my own models which you know I'm encouraging all of us to get together and we'll design our own I've always wanted to design my own WoW character and then you know put it to Blizzard who knows you never know like I say if you don't ask the answers always no um, but yeah that's just, that's pretty much the the way to go now I will show you how to separate um, like bits and pieces like if you wanted to get say the quiver right so if, let me just see if they're actually no, they're not. so they are one model essentially but there are ways to be able to you know take things off which I can show you there and you can see that there's quite a, a lot of stuff we can take the arrows we can do all that we'll get into that later I just wanted to show you a quick tip on how to get WoW models back into um, a 3D application so that you can create your machinimas and all that stuff now unfortunately it doesn't come with animations but that's okay I think it's great to practice creating your own animation like your own skeletons rigging them up and then creating your own animations I think that's essential practice especially if you want to be a games developer um, but anyway I'll do a part two to this where we probably will go more in depth about the UI of 3ds max um, you know how to look at the model what what we can do with you know how to access different elements of the model so you can you know if you say you want to change the hood or give it a different color and that now you must be aware when you do use um, Blizzard's uh, assets that all credit and everything of the sort must go back to them because at the end of the day that they, they you know it is their work and the the amazing 3d artists and graphics designers and you know concept artists they've done an amazing job but yeah anyway 
I think that will uh, that will do it for this tutorial. It was only a quick one to let those people that have been asking me how to get the models back. Uh, yeah, that's it. So I think what I'll probably do, I'll, I'll try, I want to get a, um, I've got a good idea for a, another video this afternoon that I'm going to do. It's going to incorporate both my, both Ravenclaw and the, uh, the Orc Hunter. We still, I'm still looking at all the names people are posting up, so I'm going to choose one and we'll be able to rename him soon. But yeah, if you have any questions, guys, I, I encourage you, talk with me down below, ask me anything. I, I do get back to you as fast as I can. Um, and if this is something that you're interested, hit that like button. Let me know because then I'll be more than happy to keep posting this and we'll go way in depth and from it'll take you from the beginning all the way through to advanced modeling and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, and if you're new to the channel, you're seeing this for the first time, take a lap around the channel see what I've uh, posted up and if you do like what you see hit that hit that subscribe button because I would love to absolutely love to have you on the bo on the board <laughs> on the board on the team and until next time every single one of you you keep on sniping and I will see you in the next video peace out